Hi, I'm Steve, and I'm going to take you through one of our shindig crafts today. Uh, we're going to be painting this mammoth tooth. It's a baby mammoth tooth from the Netherlands, and in particular, it's a woolly mammoth tooth. We can tell that, just like from this tooth here, by these little cusps called lamellae. And their spacing helps determine what species they are. We have two different kinds of species of mammoth here in Montana, woolly mammoths and Colombian ma mammoths, like this one behind me here. So, why don't we dive in and start painting our cast? Now, we've got three different colors here. The main color we're going to use is this brown. We're going to take this brown and cover the entirety of our cast in it. Just, we're going to try and match what we see in this real life one right next to us. Now, we want to cover as much as possible here. The paint will take really well in a small layer. So you don't need a lot, and you don't, you don't want it to be too goopy. It will just take nice and give it that good rusty color there. That's what we're looking for. Most, most mammoth teeth that we find are this kind of brownish color. Their teeth have been replaced with other minerals most of the time. Uh, as they fossilize, so they tend to not look as much as they do in life as a lifelike color. However, we're going to paint over this section that I'm on again, because this is where we'll find those lamellae that I was talking about, and they tend to preserve just a little bit more. Oh, they preserve a little bit better. So we tend to see some more brighter whites, and they look a little bit more like the ivory in that regard. All right. Well, there's base coat number one. It's okay if it's not all even. Uh, fossils don't tend to preserve in an even fashion, so the less uniform it looks with our colors, the better. You can even like dab it with your fingers and remove some of that paint and it'll give it that, that kind of mottled texture. Now the next color that we're going to use, we're going to use this uh, gray here. And what we're going to do, we're kind of going to give some definition. So we'll take this gray and we're going to go into these cracks and just darken up those cracks just a wee bit. And we're kind of doing two things here. We're, we're adding definition and we're replicating where some of these cracks would have had more dirt, grime, maybe even plaque buildup. It's just good to kind of give it that little texture there. And again, if there's too much, you can blot it down with your finger, and that'll also act as like a mixing, and it'll kind of shade it in. I'd recommend doing this quite a bit. Um, that way it kind of looks more, you know, it's kind of like mixing watercolors in that way, where you have the ability to really play. And yeah, please use your hands. Get dirty. Make it finger paint. It's super fun. And the more modeled, modeled that word that we're using, the more modeled it is, the more it's going to look in life, like the ones do in life. Now, our last layer here is going to be this ivory color here. And we're going to go very, very lightly. You don't want to take too much paint here. You want to have just a wee bit on the end of your uh, paintbrush here. And we're going to go right over these lines here. See how quickly it picks up. If you have the time, I'd wait for this to dry first and then go over it again. You can also give it a little bit of that modeling we did earlier. Yeah. Mammoths are a little bit different than people. Well, of course they are, but uh, in their teeth especially. They have six sets of teeth over their lifetime uh, versus us just having two. So imagine like spitting out your teeth six times over the course of your life instead of just losing your baby teeth once. 
I think it's pretty crazy. Now, we can tell which tooth each one is and then age mammoths that way while also being able to tell a little bit about their diet and what species they were. Yeah, mammoths lose their teeth in a different fashion than people do. People, our teeth come out upwards. Uh, that's the way that they erupt. Mammoth teeth do something a little different. Think of like a conveyor belt moving forward. So this tooth would move forward and out of the mouth like that instead. Yeah, it's a little bit odd, but we see the same thing in modern elephants, which is really helpful in understanding extinct animals having their ancestors alive today. There. All right, well, there we go. See, well, we could give it a little bit more of a dab. We don't want it to be too bright of a white there. See, it doesn't stick out too much in that kind of case. We just want it to be different. And there we go. There is your completed mammoth tooth. This is how we can paint your mammoth tooth.